Every electric vehicle seems to be a new Rorschach test. Does the BMW i3 look like a spaced transportation pod about to whisk you into an exciting future? Or does the Mercedes-Benz class electric drive reassure you that a battery-powered Mercedes will still be a Mercedes? Which vehicle signals your environmental virtue more effectively, the sleek and expensive-looking Tesla Model S or the somewhat gawky Chevrolet Bolt? Hyundai's 2017 Ionic Electric is the newest ink blot on the block. It's not a Jetson's bubble top or a Hot Wheels sizzler or a Tesla or a Bolt. It's an ethod of a trio of new Ionics, and it's designed to blend in. It looks pretty much like any other Ionic, which all look a lot like other Hyundais. How much psychological self-actualization is there in an electric car that's proudly efficient in its use of electricity but keeps quiet about it? And does efficiency trump the fact that the Ionic Electric is behind the leaders in terms of range? A modern polywog, with its blocky off grille covered in the usual piano black plastic, a stack of LEDs defining each end of the front bumper cover, and an exclusive tail lamp design, the Ionic Electric is subtle about announcing its amper dependency. But the rest of the car is conventionally drawn to a fault. It's a fast back hatch with lines that split the difference between a first-generation Chevy Volt and a second-generation Toyota Prius, a modern polywog with creases. It's unlikely to make much of a splash when thrown into the traffic stream. That conventionality continues inside the Ionic Electric, where Hyundai will proudly point out what paints were made from soybean oils and which plastics have been mixed with volcanic stone and powdered wood. Hey! Many of the soft-touch plastic surfaces contain sugarcane, the same stuff that provides the natural sweetness of Mexican Coca-Cola. But the interior design itself is straightforward and conventional. No funky town dial to control the 7.0-inch screen atop the dashboard's center stack, just good old touch controls. There are some nice metallic accents and the flat-bottom steering wheel is perfectly pleasing to hold. But the best thing about the interior is that there are real controls for most of the things that need controlling. There's no need to scroll through menus just to tune to NPR or Rush Limbaugh. And since Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are built in, integrating personal electronics is simple. An amplified Elantra, once the driver settles into the front seat covered in biofabric, the Ionic seems instantly familiar. It's an amplified Elantra, not a break with reality. And as in the Elantra, the seat's bottoms are relatively short and lacking in thigh support. A push-button drive controller sits between the seats where the shift lever would be in other Ionics. There are four buttons, D for drive, P for park, R for reverse, and N for neutral. You probably could have figured that out on your own. At 176.0 inches long with a 106.3 inch wheelbase, the Ionic nestles in a bit shorter than a Prius and a foot longer than a Bolt. The lithium ion battery pack is largely buried under the rear seat and cargo floor, leaving most but not all of the space in the rear cargo area open for, well, cargo. Power comes from a 118 horsepower permanent magnet AC motor that delivers a 215 lbft ribbon of torque with which you could wrap Christmas presents. The EPA says the battery-powered Ionic is good for 124 miles of range, but Hyundai is even more proud of its EPA combined rating of 136 mpj miles per gallon equivalent. The company claims that's good enough to produce the best operating costs in the business. The EPA figures that the Ionic Electric will need 81 cents of juice to cover 25 miles compared with 92 cents for the Bolt and 97 cents for an Nissan Leaf. Recharging the Ionic's lithium ion battery up to 80% takes about 23 minutes using 100 kW DC fast charge capability, which can take advantage of some of the newest, fastest chargers more so than the Bolt EV, Hyundai says. Alternately, the car can be charged via a standard household socket with the integrated in cable control box ICCB. Hyundai says it'll take about four and a half hours to fully charge the car from a 240 volt household source. On the move, but efficiency is one thing, driving is something else. The Ionix suspension consists of struts up front and a torsion beam in the back, but
but this simple hardware is almost sublimely supple over most surfaces, and it's actually fun to dive into the occasional corner. The steering is perfectly weighted and precise, and while the true 0555R16 Michelin Energy Saver all season tires and the grippiest, within their modest limits the Ionique is a sweet natured handler. Tap the left paddle behind the steering wheel and the electric's regenerative braking will progressively supply, in four steps, sufficient deceleration to the point where it can make the brake pedal nearly superfluous. Toggle the paddle in the right four times and the system will go into a three-wheel mode that maintains the car's momentum. It's so so close to being fun. What's missing from the Ionique Electric is the sensation of speed that Chevy has so effectively built into the Bolt. While the Ionique's 215 lbft of torque is adequate, it's 51 lbft behind the Bolt's 266, also. The Ionique's 118 horsepower is well short of the Bolt's 200. There's an immediacy to the Bolt's ethyl and Bolt that the Ionique can't duplicate. However, according to the manufacturer's specifications, the Ionique Electric weighs 3,164 pounds, 416 pounds less than the Bolt. Our tests show the Bolt reaching 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and the Ionique Electric is sure to be slower than that. We estimate it at 8.0 seconds for now. While the Ionique Electric is efficient and comfortable and offers a great balance between ride quality and handling, that range number of 124 miles is likely to haunt it. It's barely more than half the 238 miles that the Bolt is rated for. On an image basis, the Ionique Electric is more efficient but most F buyers are obsessed with range. The Bolt has shattered the paradigm here and reset expectations, creating a psychological barrier that Hyundai must overcome to attract the comparison shopper. But if there's one way to overwhelm the psychology of any situation, it's with economics. Hyundai has priced the Ionique Electric at $30,335 before all the various government incentives and bribes. Go for the better equipped limited model and that rises to $33,335. In California, where the state government really, really wants you to buy an electric vehicle, the incentives on an Ionique electric can total $10,000. Not only does the electric Ionique have a substantial price advantage over the somewhat smaller Bolt, but with those incentives in place it becomes an interesting alternative to vehicles including high-end Honda Civics, low-end Honda Accords, and high-end own Elantra and Sonata.